Hi, how's it going on everyone? Welcome to another React Firebase Authentication. In this third video, we'll be taking a look at Twitter authentication with React. So in the first video, uh, I went through Google Authentication and also setting up uh, the Firebase version 9 with React. And in the second video, I did a Facebook authentication uh, tutorial. Now we'll be going over Twitter and the steps are pretty much the same to the previous tutorial, which was the Facebook tutorial. So on the documentation, we'll first need to head over to our Twitter dashboard where we register our app. So that's developer.twitter.com. And then here we'll need to create a new application. So we'll select development, we'll click next. And then app name will be uh, Twitter test app. Then we'll go ahead and click next. So this name is already taken. Uh, we'll just say Joey test app. Let's click next. So we have our API key, API secret, and all of this. So now back in our Firebase console, we'll go over to sign in methods. We'll go to add provider, select Twitter, and then click enable. And then we'll copy our API key. And then also copy our API secret key. And then uh, from here, let's go to app settings. And then under authentication settings, click edit. Uh, we'll just enable this. And then here under callback URLs, we'll copy this uh, URL here and then we'll paste it in there. And then click save. And then what's also required is the website URL. So we can't paste in our local host for some reason. So I'll use, uh, what is this, uh, ng-rock as well, just like in the previous video. So if you're not familiar with ng-rock, please do check out my video where I set up ng-rock. So here I'll just set up a new uh, ng-rock tunnel. Okay, and then I'll copy this and paste it in under my website URL. So basically, if I do click on uh, this link, it will basically display the same th uh, same content that's running on my uh, local host port uh, 3000. So from here, uh, we should be good. So now if I click, uh, oh no, from here, uh, on our button, on our sign-in button, we need to create our sign-in with Twitter method. So we'll first create a function called sign in with Twitter. And then just like in the previous video, we'll first need to import authentication from our Firebase config. So import authentication from Firebase. And then if we head back to the documentation as well, we'll need to import uh, Twitter auth provider from Firebase auth. And also from here, we need to import sign in with pop up. And then we'll create a new provider from the documentation here. Paste it in there. And then from here, we'll call sign in with pop up. And then first thing we need to pass is our authentication. And then we'll pass our provider. And then we'll say then this will return a result, which will be the user info. If the sign in is successful, we'll just console log the user details. And then we'll also catch any errors that uh, might occur. And console.log error. And then we can just try uh, reload our page. And just open the console as well. Then click sign in with Twitter. Uh, oh, we need to call this on the on click, sorry. So on our button, we'll just add an on click event. And this will be sign in with Twitter. Now from here, I can just click sign in with Twitter and then we should have our pop-up. 
So it says here the current domain is not recognized for all. So just like in the previous video, uh, we need to copy this and then add it to our Firebase console as an authorized domain. So under authorized domains here, we'll just click add domain. And click add. And that should resolve that. So now if we reload one more time, now if we just reload that and then click sign in with Twitter, then the pop-up should work accordingly. And then we can just click Authorize App. And then what it should return is just the user information. And if we go back to our console under Users, we should see uh, Jalom signed up using uh, Twitter as the provider.